Let's get into, into some stocks. What is on your – there's a couple hundred headlines you've already posted today. Of all those headlines, what is on your radar? So I was looking at Palantir. Okay. We reported the earnings yesterday, and there were several rating changes. Pro. Let me see what we got here. Uh, let's go to a news feed. Yeah, they had earnings when? Yesterday? Yeah, yesterday uh, pre-market. Yep, and we see a number of ratings this morning. Yeah, so it looks like people would just continue to sell the news. The stock beat on their EPS sales. Gave out great guidance. They expect growth. And the stock just sold off. I think it sold off like 13% yesterday. And then now it's up about 4% today. This stock has just been extremely volatile. I look at it every day. I got I to gotta look at this chart. I personally own this stock. It's probably why I always look at it every day. What really stuck out to me were Goldman Sachs upgraded the stock and William Baer downgraded the stock. I was looking at both those reports. I guess they both gave great valid points. I got to go with Goldman on their forecast as a biased answer because I do own the stock. But And I, I, I just want to be clear about that for a second. Benzing News Desk, they're allowed to own stocks, but they are not allowed to trade. I just want to be clear when Randy says he owns Palantir, he's not trading Palantir. That, yeah, that, uh, long-term investor. Right, exactly. Long-term. I don't. I don't, I don't have time to trade. I gotta, yeah, exactly. I gotta, he can't trade. I he's gotta, too busy posting headlines. Yeah, I got to get the news out to you, traders. Right. Yeah. He's too busy posting headlines. He literally can. If if he stopped the trade, he would have lost a job years ago. Yeah, um, and along with Palantir selling the news, you know, it looks like it happened to Shopify. Shopify came out with earnings this morning. Spence, you want to pull up Shopify? Yeah, you know, actually, I'll pull up a chart. So we can see the chart there. Yeah, Let's it was a that. big drop. Oh my gosh. Yeah. They've been doing it all, all season. Yeah. So Shopify had really great earnings, man. They beat on EPS sales. Their GMV exceeded 41 billion. It reached 120 billion for the entire year. GM, what's GMV? Gross gross right? merchandise volume. Yeah. Q4 subscription, it increased 53% year over year. So that, those are great numbers, but it just seems like people are just selling the news. Yeah. It's been the case like all season, right? You, you, like I remember uh, it happened to Netflix. It didn't happen to like Twitter or Pinterest. Yeah, it, yeah, it, it, it feels like a lot of like the big tech happened to didn't happen to Facebook. It feels like a lot of the big tech names yeah, have been like uh, sold off hard. Yeah. I don't know what's going on there, but people seem to sell the news. You also told me that you're watching Tesla today. Yeah, well, why I'm looking at Tesla is not so much because of the company specific fundamental news, but the stock's been selling off since pre market. And then right when the market opened, it like rallied back. If you can pull up that chart for me. The reason why I looked at that chart and thought it was so interesting is because uh, a lot of the trades nowadays seem to be with like correlation of just Elon Musk. So SpaceX raised $850 million in funding last week, which raised their valuation to $74 billion. That seems very interesting to me to keep an eye on Tesla. Just because it's run by Musk, it's going to draw in a lot of like investors to Tesla stock. Keep an eye on, on that chart. Just because it, it, it's it's not so much a Tesla trade as like an Elon Musk trade. Right? More of a yeah, Elon yeah. Musk trade. Just kind of like how he tweets about crypto and people go and buy the crypto. Yeah, it's crazy. Right? <laughs> it's crazy, right? So like, how do you feel when like, you know, half your job is trying to figure out why stocks are moving. How do you feel when you like, you realize, oh my God, it's from a freaking tweet. Kind of have mixed emotions. I'm like, <laughs> all right, you know, that's cool. Like he has the power to do that. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, should he be allowed to do that? It's kind of like, it shouldn't be like legal because, you know, he just says one tweet and then boom, he just went up 2000% on his investment. Yeah. Like Dogecoin. Yeah. Like yeah. Dogecoin. Yeah. Or <laughs> I kind of don't like posting the headlines because it's but like, you, but you don't have a choice. I don't have a choice. Right. Yeah. Cause like, I know that's the news, but it's like, Come on, guys! Just because he tweeted it, I know. Like, like but it is what it is. Right? I, I, I don't control the market. I feel like half <laughs> half of what you do is just like shake your fist at the market. Like, why? Yeah, yeah. Just like the selling <laughs> of the news. Like, why? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Why are you selling it? Uh, relating to Elon Musk tweeting about Bitcoin, yeah, let's check out Bitcoin. It reached over fifty one. It's over fifty one thousand dollars right oh now. Goodness. Is it really? Yeah, it's up eighteen hundred dollars. Oh uh, my goodness! Today, the future is yeah. Oh yeah, my gosh. B- Bitcoin has just been on a tear, and looking at stocks like Marathon and Riot, which are also up a crazy amount today. Marathon is up six percent. Riot's up about 11 percent both stocks since the beginning of 2021 are up over 300 percent in just two months over up 300 or over 300 percent with the strength of bitcoin 